Hi, this is Simon Judd. This is an extract from one of our Insights packages on biological processes, and this one concerns the activated sludge process. Classical municipal wastewater treatment takes place, first of all, by screening the sewage to about six millimeters normally. That's enough to get rid of any twigs, leaves, rags, what have you. And it then goes into a primary sedimentation tank. And that sedimentation tank allows the gross solids, the larger lumps, to settle out to the bottom of the tank, leaving a supernatant, or what's normally called um, settled sewage, to go on to the next process, which is the process biology tank, which is the main process in the whole treatment scheme. And that tank is full of microorganisms. The microorganisms take the form of uh, flocks. These flocks are somewhere between 20 and 250 microns in size. And effectively, they're like communities of microorganisms, towns, if you like. And all those microorganisms need to survive is a source of air, or oxygen, I should say, from air, and organic matter. And the organic matter is essentially that settled sewage. So whereas the settled sewage to you and I is basically just excrement, to the microorganisms, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Now that process biology tank is normally divided into two zones, an anoxic zone and an aerobic zone. This is for microbiological and biochemical reasons, which I won't go into. But the aerobic zone is where the air is dissolved so it's fitted with what's called fine bubble diffusers which is fed from process air blower which then feeds the aerobic zone with a stream of fine air bubbles which provide the oxygen for the microorganisms to survive now those flocks have to be retained in the system which means um, but apart from um, stirring the tank to make sure that the solids are suspended, they have to be settled out in what's called a secondary clarifier, which achieves cell separation and returned to the microbiological tank, normally to the anoxic zone. There are then two waste streams from this process. First, from the primary sedimentation process effectively just uh, the solids from raw sewage so a little bit smelly and then the spare uh, cells from the biological tank normally referred to as WAS waste activated sludge so in effect regular classical aerobic wastewater treatment is a two-stage process the primary treatment, which is just the sedimentation process, and the secondary treatment, which is the biological tank followed by the cell separation stage, referred to collectively as the activated sludge process. And most wastewater treatment plants just comprise those two processes, maybe with a few uh, added whistles and bells here and there. But if you want something a little bit more than that in terms of your treated water quality, then you have to add a, a tertiary treatment stage, which normally comprises some kind of solid liquid separation process, which would be either a media or membrane filter, followed by some kind of disinfection process, either chlorine or perhaps UV disinfection, to give you that final effluent.